Hey, value traders, did you see the recovery of the pound? Value trades. I'm Brad Alexander, and in this week's Market Blast Fundamentals, let's take a look at Euro Dollar, Kiwi Dollar, WTI, the FTSE, and Pound Dollar. Last week, we saw the collapse of the pound based on the proposed tax cuts and statements over the weekend. Now, however, Liz Truss has decided to scrap the plans, which should help keep the pound's recovery moving. GBP is looking much stronger now and is approaching this key level of support on Euro Pound. As well, with the change in plans, the Bank of England may not need to go to 6% interest rates, but the new optimism may drive GBP higher anyway. The news has helped the FTSE in a small way as price action bounces off long-term support, and we will look at the indices from a technical side tomorrow. OPEC Plus will be meeting this week in person for the first time since March 2020, and the rumors are that they will institute serious production cuts. This caused WTI to open with a gap this morning, so let's see if price action can fill the gap in the next few days. Our analysis has the New Zealand dollar as the weakest currency. They have inflation at a 32-year high, even though they don't publish their figures very often, but an interest rate decision is due this Wednesday. As well this week, we have the US non-farm payrolls, the Reserve Bank of Australia interest rate decision, and lots of events from around the world, including a few from Europe, including an EU leaders summit this Friday. The euro is looking stronger against everything except the pound, so this should give some optimism to Christine Lagarde. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Value Trade Signals and the link will be in this video's description below. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and register on the Value Trades website to get notifications on new content as it happens. That's all for now. Happy trading with Value Trades and we will see you next time. CFDs and FX are leveraged products and your capital may be at risk.